Let's get into it. I'll give you first crack. Green Bay at Tampa Bay. Some are saying you might be in this group. It's put up or shut up for Tom Brady and the Bucks. What's your thoughts? Um, it, it is. It's a big game. They're playing a really good team. It's one of those games that if you got a little something going at home, right? He's got all of his receivers, I think, back this week. Uh, Chris you Godwin know, will be back, yep. And remember, they played in, in Chicago. Moving. They scored a touchdown in the first quarter, Chris, and didn't score another touchdown. Uh, that was a bad loss. They were up 13 nothing, right, early yep. on, and they wound yep. up losing. Um, so here's a game, and, and Chicago's now 4-1, and one, so I'm counting them as a good team, quote-unquote good team, right? right? So they lost to Chicago. They lost to the Saints. Those are their two losses. If they lose here... They will have lost to all the quote unquote, and I'm using it as that, good teams, and they would drop to three and three. So, you know, if you want to say week one against now the, the Saints, Panthers are 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 technically Are they three and two now? Uh yes, three and two. So Okay, I mean, but I still don't I yeah, still I don't, don't, I don't think that because they could go them. either way. Do you know what right, I'm saying? Right. Like these other three teams. Right. The other three teams I would say, that's why I'm saying in quotes, good teams. Right, right. So I think people are looking to say, well, here's a measuring stick game, Chris. That's what I'll call it. Green Bay's played as well as you can play. It's a road game. I think Devontae Adams finally, Chris, they've been doing it with, with mostly without him. I think he's right. only played one game, right? I think. Right. Yep, one and a half or something. One and a half games, yeah. okay. So this is a big test. And it's about Tom Brady, obviously, but it's also about this Tampa Bay team where it was easy, Chris, to just say, it was Jameis Winston. Oh, he threw all those interceptions. That's why we weren't good. That's why we didn't make the playoffs. That's why we were 7-9, and nine, whatever it is. But we saw some things, and we've seen some things about the team not being disciplined. And that's really what I want to look at as well, along with Tom Brady and how he plays and how the offense, when he has all of his wide receivers Back in the fold, we do not know, right, about Leonard Fournette yet, Chris, do we? No. Okay, so Question. we don't know. if. But Ronald going. Jones has been running the ball well. Right, but and I'm just saying. Before, anyway. But, yeah, right. it, okay. it, it but we don't know. Fournette for sure, yes. Um, so, so I think that this is a game that we – a gauge game where we can take a look at Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay beats Green Bay. If you're a Tampa Bay fan, you got to feel good about that, right? That, that even though it's a home game – and it's not a big spread. It's basically a pick em. Isn't right, it a one point? Right, right. It's one point. I, so, feel I, good I, is an understatement. Yeah, I think you would. Yeah, I, look, I think, you know, I picked Tampa Bay to get to the Super Bowl. I think Green Bay is going to win this game because I think Green Bay right now, I mean, there's no question, they're playing better football. They're playing tremendous football. They're playing the best football in the league. And I think Tampa Bay is still figuring it out, and I don't think that should surprise anyone. You know, you mentioned they're going to have their full complement of receivers for the first time this year. So rather than thinking, okay, now it's on, it's going to be a light show, and, you know, I, I think it'll be good for them, but it's still, it's this to me that's just, okay, they're still in the process. And so I, I don't feel bad about my pick of them getting to the Super Bowl. If they lose Sunday, as I believe they will, I won't feel like, oh, they got no shot because I expected the first month, six weeks, whatever, to be you're feeling it out. And I think they're going to gradually get better as it is. Obviously, you'll hate to lose two in a row. They don't want to come off that loss to Chicago and lose again at home. But it is what it is. It's not going to break them. You brought up the penalties. You're right. I mean, obviously, Tom Brady, for his whole career, has been in the most buttoned-up organization in the league. And they're not having those sort of penalties. And I'm sure it is ticking him off. And that, But that's Bruce Arians, as, as good an offensive mind as he is. Chris. His teams do that. And I think it's up to Brady. Brady's got to instill in that team – the understanding that, yo, we cannot, if we really have designs, 
on winning a Super Bowl. We can't be doing this, period. I don't care how explosive we might be. We can't be having these silly penalties. And I think it's going to be up to him. I'm not saying he's got to yell at everybody and, and be Mr. Tough Guy, but he's got to get that mentality into the team. I don't think Arians is going to do it. Well, and let me so give you the that's numbers. that's going to take a little bit of time. Because when we say it's not an understatement about uh, about Brady not used to these all these penalties, but um, so far this year the Patriots have 22 less offensive penalties. You ready? It's 25 to 3, Chris. Tampa Bay has 25 yep. to 3. 22 offensive penalties difference is huge. It you does mean mi- five games, right? It does. <laughs> it does. Four and it, a half a game. It, it, could, it could be. It could be the difference between winning and losing, and a, and calling a play back, a big play, or a score, right? Or absolutely. Or or and it's being, being taken out of field goal range, or whatever yep. it is. There's all kinds of penalties offensively. So so that's another part of. And you're right. I've always said this: penalties. That's a that's a coach, coaching issue, Chris. Yep. That, more and so than players. He's he been coaching. coaching long enough. It's not. Uh, it's going to be hard for him to change that, right? So I think Brady's got to be. And again, I'm not saying he's got to get on a, you know, a stool and and yell at everybody. But he's going. Even to Even though to he get did yell at the offensive line last time. week. Yes, he did. Which I'm fine. With, you know, whether it's yeah, basketball, I'm just saying. football. Yeah, it, it happens. But. Here's where I'll push back on you, and I, I don't know if you are – I don't think you're saying that they're better off with James. They would have been – I'm not he, saying that. Okay, right. All okay, I'm so saying is it's not all – Tom Brady. But it's not all Jameis Winston. I'm saying, like, I'm starting to see other issues. Oh, yeah. There's a reason why this franchise hasn't made the playoffs in 12 years. Like, so, right. Do you know but, what I'm but, saying? Like, but, there's some but, of that. Yeah, but also, I mean, those 12 years – there weren't the same coaches. No, no, no. The same but players the, overall. But that Chris, time. can I give you this? You this can't just... poo poo though thirty picks in today's no, I, NFL. Now I, I know, get it, but but 10 I want to years I, ago some of the best quarterbacks in the league were throwing a lot of picks like that. But now it's because now so many of the passes are dinks, right? Dink but, and dunk. That right. if you're but, throwing that many interceptions, it's like something's wrong with you. And I know they throw it down the field more than your average team. But I, I see that's where like Brady's on pace to throw like 12, 13 interceptions, whereas Jameis threw 30 last year. So th- I know you're not saying it, but they are, make no mistake, they're better off with Tom Brady than Jameis. But, but my point is there's a culture sometimes, and, and I saw it in Detroit with the Lions covering them for 20 years. I don't care who the coach was, Chris. Do you know what I mean? Like right. st- there's something there, and you keep going. Same old Lions. Here we go. They may, you know, and it's different coaches and different players. Right. You, Cleveland, you know that. You watched it and you go, how can they keep doing the same thing? It's not even the same guy or the same coach or the same system. Right. And, but, but, right. but it's, but it's, it's like ingrained in bad teams sometimes. So that's all I'm saying is those are things that if I'm Tom Brady, I'm a little worried about. Oh, I'm sure he's, he's because, frustrated. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's not what he's used to. But they do, you know, Ty Bowles is a very good defensive coordinator. Uh, some think maybe the best in the league. Uh, their defense is fine. They obviously have the weapons. They do have to fine-tune this stuff, as you said. And that's what you bring a Tom Brady in for. Look, let's face it. At 43, you don't think he's going to be slinging it around the yard like Pat Mahomes. Right? I mean, obviously, you think he can still do it physically. He's still good, but he's not physically great like he used to be or like some of these other guys are right now. But he's still good physically, and you expect him to be fantastic mentally. Last week's not, you know, uh, brain fart notwithstanding. All right, 877-99 on Fox, 877-996-6369. Your turn to weigh in. Is this Sunday's matchup? Between the Buccaneers and the Packers, a put-up or shut-up game for Tom Brady and Tampa Bay. All right, let's kick it off with uh, Dre in Michigan. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, hey, Dre? what's going on, fellas? Y'all all right? Oh, yeah. What's up, bro? We good. All right, it's good. A lot of people do what y'all do, but nobody do it like y'all do it, man. I love man. it. Thank you, man. We appreciate, appreciate that. that. 
Send a, uh, send a letter to Fox Sports her. 1, by the way. <laughs> you said what? <laughs> email to Fox Sports 1 about that. Yeah. Uh, oh, I need to email about them about putting on pro bowling and cutting y'all off at 7 o'clock at night. Don't worry about no bowling or no soccer. Oh, you, you mean, <laughs> yeah, on uh, a series. There's nothing we could do. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. do. All right. What you got? So, yeah. It's definitely a put up a shut up a time break. Just think about the Bucks went what seventy nine last year. Nobody bought yep. you to go eight and eight. You know what I'm saying? It's time for you to put up against a good team. You only good is what you come up against. So if you're not beating the good teams, then you like Dennis Green said a long time. You are what we thought you are. You thought you were. So you know I didn't expect much. You don't expect just because them to improve though. But- I mean, Honestly, okay, they three and three. I, yeah, that would be pace for eight and eight. Right, but yeah. I don't expect. I'm not gonna say okay since they're three and three, they're gonna finish eight and eight. I I think they're gonna Chris, be progressively better. Chris, look, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna be honest. I'm a Tom Brady fan, but last year you can see the drop off in the way he threw oh, the ball. Right. The ball was nope. barely getting to the receivers, well, barely getting past the line of scrimmage. Has Has the long ball been a problem this year? Keep it real. No, no, okay. no, no. It That's hasn't. It hasn't. But what I'm saying is, it's still he's not able to make every throw all the time. Yes, he he can get it every now and then, but he's not consistent with it. All right, there it is. That's and, one and for put up. Other, yeah, d- definitely. How about Trey in Montana? You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Trey? Uh, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, what's up, man? First off, I love the show. Love you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Hey, Trey, I uh, need to get to Montana. I, when I when I finally get a chance to see the rest of the country, Montana's on my list. Oh, yeah, for sure. Got to come up to Flathead Lake and Glacier National Park for sure. Definitely. All right, what All you right, got? What you got? Uh, I don't really think it's a put up or shut up this weekend for the Bucks because, I mean, they're three and two so far right now, and they played a pretty good Bears team in the Saints when they were pretty healthy. And if they lose this weekend, so what? They're only three and three. Right. And it's a long season, you know. Um, we see the teams like the Falcons last year that went on like a 7 0 run to end the year or like the Titans and I think as time goes along the Bucks are just going to get better. Only yeah, thing I, I have is I uh you know you say 3 and 3 you're almost at the halfway point, you know, of eight games being the halfway. Right. So I mean it's easy to say they're going to get better and what if they finish the first half Chris 4 and 4? You know what I mean? I don't think that's where you want to be even at the halfway point cuz then you put pressure on yourself. You got to win you almost you got to be 6 and 2, you know, like right. You'd have to win at that clip. That's why I think, you know, six games is a measuring stick for me. But uh, don't you – you can't kill them. I'm not, I don't I'm even not, think you'll kill them. Not to lose, but I'm just saying it, it – it, I mean, if they you're get getting, just totally embarrassed. Right, that, that's something else. But you're getting closer to the halfway point. Right. And if you're, if you're four and four and have to go six and two to finish the season, that, that, that's not easy. It's not easy. And, and uh, Chad in Cincinnati, you're on the Odd Couple, Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Chad? What's up, OG? What's up, Chris? What's up, so, how are you? Hey, Jair Alexander and Kevin King, they're um, two playmakers. They're, they're ball hawks, and they're, they're really talented in the secondary for the Packers. I think Tom, Steve, DeBerg, Brady falls off the <laughs> cliff this weekend, overcompensating for the mental error that he made and all the excuses that everyone put up for him last week when he forgot what down it was. So I see another pick six in the book. Well, he, look, I see a- they better take that cross-field pass from one of the hashes out of the playbook. Why did they keep doing Because you're right, it? it could be a pick six if he does something like that. That's a nice little psychoanalyst by Chad. All right. Not bad, Chad. Okay. Chad we'll in the natty. True. What about Mark in Virginia? You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. What's up, Mark? Hi, gentlemen. I hope you're both healthy. Yes, yes man. You Thank too. God. Thank by, God. By the way, uh, the shoes you sent me, I, I converted them to high tops, and I even found a color that goes along with the Odd Couple Blue. I didn't know if your color is your color a proprietary color, or, or in other words, is it registered, or can I throw in my uh, high top with a color that looks just like it? Yeah, that's fine. You could do okay. whatever you Are want. Are you with the those. one that called in earlier where you made them high tops, or is this right. a whole yeah. separate? No, this is yeah. this is Mark. I'm this gonna say, my I'm goodness, gonna, what's up with the high tops? High yeah. tops, right? I'm gonna email them to Rob, and then you guys can take a look at them. Okay, um, sounds good. If you got if you got bad ankles and you're on the beach, trust me, it doesn't really help. <laughs> anyway, I got gotcha. you. Uh, getting to the point here, I, I think. No, I, I know and play football. The 
what's really being, uh, I think, underappreciated is the difficulty of learning a new system. But yes. perhaps more important for Brady is unlearning a system that was in his mind, his body, and everything he did for, what, 13, 14 years. That's really being under, I think, underappreciated. It's really difficult. Um, but I think that's pack, fair. I think that's yeah, fair. And I didn't expect them to Super Bowl or bust, but it takes a time to gel. And you know when it happens, it's like a click. And then all of a sudden, everything's a lot easier. You look at the Packers side, same offense for a number of years. But I'm also thinking it's a little deja vu with the Packers. Do we know the strength of schedule on the Packers will play? Just take just a rhetorical question. I don't know question. off the top of my head. Yeah. No. yeah well, I, well, not, well, they, well, well, they it's beat been the okay. Saints. We talked about yeah, that they, last week. It's been yeah. okay. It's been it's been, okay. it's been pretty good, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I don't, beat up a bunch of patsies, so. Right. It's been all right.